Hi guys, so today I wanted to do a video on how I keep my house smelling nice, um, mainly my back room because um, this is where I keep most of my pets, the most smelliest pets anyway. Um, I just want to go through basically how I keep it smelling so, well basically how I keep it smelling not like wee and poo. And it's literally so simple, um, it's just one of them things you're going to have to keep on top of, um, especially if you have three guinea pigs and three rats in the same room. Um, I have got a hamster, she's up in my bedroom, and she does not smell. The only way she'll smell is if I leave her for ages uncleaned, which does not happen, so she'll never smell, so I'm not really going to go into it with a hamster. Um, the cats, all you need to do is literally keep their litter tray cleaned, I would groom them, because it's just not very hygienic having cat hair around and make sure you hoover because um, my hoover will probably be mentioned quite a lot in this video because my hoover is my best friend when it comes to having pets you want to get used to using a hoover because you're gonna use it a lot so I'm just gonna start off with the floor um, literally just make sure your floor is clean at all times um, my floor I will hoover well a lot quite like maybe every day um, and if a animal wheezes on the floor I will straight away disinfect it scrub the floor and dry it so it doesn't start smelling um, I will keep poo out of the guinea pig cages it can be hard for me sometimes to do it every single day because I am a full-time student and I work um, and I've got a lot of work to do and stuff like that but I do manage to do it so there's really no excuse um, I will either sweep the guinea pig cages or hoover, it depends how I'm feeling, if the floor needs to be hoovered I may as well hoover the guinea pig cage. Um, I clean their water bottles every time I clean them out. Um, the reason they have no food in there right now, you've probably noticed while watching this video, is because um, their food bowls are actually in the um, on the dryer, drying, because I've just washed them. Because um, if you have guinea pigs, you'll notice if they're on fleece, they start getting a lot of poop maybe stuck to their paws. And my guinea pigs lean across the, um, they lean on their, their cage, uh, not their cage, oh, what my words. They lean on their bowls and a lot of poo gets stuck onto their bowls. And it's not a good look, so I kind of clean them as much as I can. As soon as I see that coming along, I clean them. Them houses will start to stink if you don't clean them, so make sure you do. I don't wash mine, I disinfect them with disinfectant wipes. I don't know why, I just prefer to do it that way. I just like to sit there and wipe them down. It kind of gives me something to do and it's very calming for me. That's me and my sad life, I suppose. Um, their beds, they can become very smelly too, especially George and Peppers because there's two in there and there's only one of Lenny. Um, they will start to wee in it and they'll poo in it and they lay in it, they'll sweat in it, so it comes smelly. So try and clean that every week, wash it. I wash all my guinea pig stuff on um, a rapid wash, so all their wee wees and poos come out. I wash it in a pillowcase as well, so it doesn't make your washer smell bad. Um, keeping their fleeces clean most of the time. I try and clean my guinea pigs out as soon as I see um, poop accumulating or wee accumulating. I can't tell you how many times I do it. It must be about two times a week, maybe two or three. Freddy, not Freddy, that's sad. Lenny, I clean out once a week because there's only one of him. He doesn't make as much poo as George and Pepper. Um, you want to make sure you're emptying your bins. Um, if you're like me and then you sweep your cages and you put it in a bin, make sure you empty it because that smells. Trust me, I know. Um, I've left it once and it did pong. I can promise you that. Um, make sure you throw out any old food. Like, I keep my foods in cereal containers apart from the rats currently because I haven't got as far as that yet putting theirs in containers. So it kind of just is in here. Um... So yeah, just keeping things organised as well so it doesn't smell, you know, like um, like these fleeces, I like to keep them washed, I keep that washed, uh, wash their bowls, the rats smell a lot, can I tell you. They will smell really bad if you leave them, so try not to leave your rats to stink. I've never let mine get that bad, but I know what it smells like, and it's not a good smell. So with the rats, I will literally, like, um, they wee on this level. A lot so I will go over it with a disinfectant wipe and I've today because I cleaned them out today I actually got my um, hutch cage cleaner and I sprayed it on there and I scrubbed it because they pooped on it and um, I scrubbed it clean because it was just grim so I scrubbed 
Um, I also washed down here because it was a bit p weed, which was a bit gross. Um, I'll also like wash their tunnels and stuff like that. Their hammock's gone at the minute. It's it's in the wash. Don't worry. It's not been taken out. It's just in the wash at the minute. Um, so yeah, literally, it's not really that hard to keep your house smelling nice when you have pets. I also have a plug-in air freshener over there, which is currently switched off. I only put it on for so long because it's right near the guinea pig cage, and that's the only plug we have that's standing up. Um, and because it's right there, I won't put it on very often. I also use a Febreze um, spray. I'll show you which one. I'm currently using this Blackberry Frost fruits rouge is that um it's a limited edition one i'm kind of thinking it's a christmas one is this a christmas one because blackberry frost sounds a bit christmasy and it's got stars and stuff so yeah can i just tell you this smells so nice the other febreze's i'm not too keen on but this one i've been spraying everywhere it's, it's really nice i love it sorry about that um i got a phone call from my dad while i was filming which is a bit weird um, the next thing I'll use is some candles. Um, this is the Just Pink one by Next. Um, if you don't live in England, you probably don't know what Next is. It's just a really nice um, brand. And then we've got this sweet vanilla and coconut scented candle. We also have flowers. Them ones are a little bit dead now. They're from my mum's birthday. We have this. This is also from Next. And it's one of them oil things that you put the, the sticks in and they're meant to smell. But I can't actually smell it, so I don't really know what it's meant to be doing. And finally, in the pet room, I also have these two. Um, this one's currently burning. I think it's honey and honey and something else. I think it's honey and lily. Something, something really nice. It's a really nice smell. Um, and then I've got my oil burner going. It's a little bit dirty in the top, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I've got this one here. It's burning berry um, wax. Like you put the wax pieces in, and then it melts. I'm burning that. I got it off eBay. Um, and in there I've also got another candle that's honey smells and I've also got one of these in my bedroom as well just in case because I like smelling nice so yeah guys I hope you like this video I hope it helped you guys um, if you want to know anything else then please just um, basically just let me know I will get back to you as soon as I can um, so yeah the next upcoming video will probably be, be because I haven't actually found a video yet on how to deal with um, a lonely guinea pig and the only person that seems to be helping me is the small pet shop and I mean she's really helping me but like I want to like research as much as I can wow what has Pepper been laying in he has an orange butt what the guys look at look at that piggy bum you a little silly thing. You got fluff on your back, look. Like, you got fluff. There's a bit of fluff on you. What have you been laying in, you little troublemaker? What have you been laying in? What have you been laying in? Oh yeah, and I also had a look on YouTube and everything else about how to deal with a lonely piggy. So I'm gonna make my own video on it because no one else seems to have one. If you can find any, please let me know because um. I can't. Right guys, I am off out of here. You will be getting update cage tours soon. Please send me some requests. I will be on them straight away. Bye guys.